just really the skin for me, honey. Period. Coronavirus! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a waxing DIY video for you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my last video. I'll put it right here. But I waxed my kitty cat, gave myself a Brazilian. And in that video I mentioned that I wax my face as well. So I usually do my brows and my upper lip because that's where I have hair that grows on my face that I want to get rid of. So that's what today's DIY video is going to be about. I'm going to show you guys how you can do it yourself at home, but a low, low, super cheap, okay, period. So if you guys are interested in this video, then of course, make sure you keep watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below if you enjoy it, if you find it helpful, if you end up trying it out yourself. You can leave a comment down below. I love writing back to you guys. And yeah, let's just get right into this, okay, period. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the wax warmer that I bought off of Amazon. Um, it was 20 bucks, literally $19.99, and it came with all of the items that I need in order to wax myself. So this is what it looks like. It's called the Pro Wax 100, okay? This thing, you know, she, she a cheap little thing. She only cost $20, but I feel like this is gonna get the job done. So I have the wax beads completely melted in there already. I poured them in. This wax machine came with um, four different types of hard wax beads, meaning you don't have to use like one of those cloths or strips to stick onto the wax and then rip it off. You can actually, well not rip it off, but peel it off. You can actually just use the your hand and the wax itself. And these are the wax beads that came. So there's a pink wax, a blue wax, a black wax, and like a mint one. So this is the one that I use, I don't know. I just picked this one because I like the color of it. And then it came with two sprays. One is a pre-wax treatment and the other one is an after-wax treatment. I don't use anything like this. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I prep my skin. So I'm not going to be using these. A pack of popsicle sticks. You only get like 10. How many is in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you literally get 10 of these. Um, so I would suggest buying more popsicle sticks like separate from the wax warmer but you can literally get those at like the dollar store i poured my wax beads in and i put it on high waited until they completely melted and then i turned the wax down to a medium on the wax warmer because i don't want to burn myself when i'm applying the hot wax to my skin as far as skin prep you do want to exfoliate any area that you're going to wax 24 hours prior to waxing so yesterday i exfoliated i did a gentle exfoliation all over my face but i made sure to focus on my eyebrows and my upper lip so prep my skin i don't have anything on my skin right now i just got out the shower and to prep your skin you want to actually use a powder so in my last waxing video i used baby powder but a lot of you guys told me you know not to use baby powder because it's not good for you so a lot of people were suggesting that I use cornstarch instead because it gets the job done. It's the same exact thing. Whenever I, I do it with a baby powder, I literally just like... This this is where it gets a little messy. You know, it, it began a little messy. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I just take it on my finger and you just want to apply it to this whole area. And kind of just all over. Okay, now that we look crazy, literally, um, I took my little, this removable um, pot with the wax in it out. The wax is like really hot because I had it on high and even though I turned it down to medium, it's still like really, so this is too runny for us to put on our face. You do not want to put the wax when it's this runny on your face, you will burn your skin. You can give yourself a first degree or a third degree burn. You can burn yourself and it does not feel pleasant. It actually hurts a lot. I've done it before. Um, and it also causes hyperpigmentation. So ladies, if you're getting um, your eyebrows waxed or your upper lip waxed and it's burning when they put the wax on your skin, that's not good. Um, but the, the wax is starting to thicken as it's cooling down. Um, it's starting to thicken a little, so I'm just going to wait for it to cool down a little bit more before I go in. I've been waxing my face since I was like, probably like 
probably 13 or 14 no like 14 years old i would say like high school like middle school high school time so this doesn't feel painful for me at all really um it's something i've gotten used to but if you've never done it before it is going to hurt it, it's starting to thicken i'm gonna go in with i usually do it in pieces so i'm gonna do i'm like doing this Ooh. Picking it up and then twisting it around so like this. And I'll be trying to do it in one shot. Still too hot. I mean, typically I wouldn't use the really wide um, popsicle sticks. Um, typically I wouldn't use the really wide. Oh, it's still really sticky. Why did I do that? Typically I wouldn't use the really wide popsicle sticks. I would use the skinnier ones for my upper lip and for my eyebrows. So I have to be really careful. But I just wanted to do this the most inexpensive way possible to show you guys that it's something that you can do, that it's very doable. I just be tapping it just to see like where I'm at. It's okay that it overlapped my lip because I have hair that grows like really like right on top of my upper lip. I'm gonna do the other side before the wax fully cools down again and I have to remelt it. And when you apply it, you wanna make sure you're applying it with pressure. You don't wanna like, press lightly you want to you see how I'm like pushing it and like smearing it into my skin because I'm the only one that's going to be using this um wax machine I am double dipping because this is literally going to be my personal wax machine I'm not sharing it with anyone but when I did share the wax machine with like my sister and my mom the other one that I had I did not double dip okay so this one's like fully dry when you could tap it and it's hard and it's not sticking to anything time to rip it off okay ready there's real really no way to prepare yourself for this you just have to do it and then once you do it once the area kind of goes numb and then you're kind of good after that so i always the hairs on my lip they grow like down and then as they round the corners of my mouth they kind of grow this way so i'm gonna rip going the opposite direction so if the hairs go this way i'm gonna rip it so I just peel up the corner like this and then hold on to it. Ooh, ooh, but I got the hair though, period, period. Ooh, okay. There's still some, I can still see there's hair, but on this wax strip, I don't know if you guys can see that. But Oh, frig. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, yeah. Now that you guys have seen my little technique, I'm just gonna finish, finish up my lip and then I'm gonna go over to my brows and show you guys how I wax up my brows, but I'm gonna do like one more. I look like Mario, Mamma Mia, Mario, Luigi, a pepperoni. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm about to rip this off. I, I just know this one's gonna hurt because why did Play Me be giving me the extra large, extra fat popsicle sticks? Like, I need the skinny joints. I'm going to rip from this side because there was more hair on this side than there was this side. Ooh. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with some more of the cornstarch because there's like 
I was starting to sweat on my upper lip because this light is hot that I'm standing in front of. And it's a, not, the wax isn't sticking because of it. So I gotta go in with a little bit more cornstarch. Okay, my wax is really hot and really melted. So I'm just gonna stir it in the pot until it starts to thicken. I have a feeling like this is gonna be good because I put the powder again. Ooh. Okay, so this is what my upper lip is looking like. There's a little bit of bleeding, that's normal. But I'm not in pain, it doesn't hurt. It's just like bleeding a little. But I have a little bit more hair right here that I'm probably just gonna use a tweezer with. But this is what the wax strip looks like. A little mustache hairs on it. Ooh. I'm gonna go on with a tweezer. There's like um like three or four hairs right here that I'm gonna just grab up really quickly. Okay, folks, now it's time for the brows. This, you have to be very careful because if you allow it to drip onto your brow in an area you don't want it to drip on, and when you pull it off, you're gonna have a bald spot. <laughs> so definitely, I would definitely 1000% suggest using skinnier um, sticks to apply the hard wax because this really wide stick is gonna make it very difficult for me, but I'm gonna take my time and move slowly so that I don't mess up. I'm gonna go in with a little spoolie and just brush my brow hairs up in the direction that I want them to go. I'm probably gonna laminate my brows after this, so I'm not going to focus too much on like making them look super neat because when I laminate them, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I like a really bushy brow, so I'm just gonna do on top and I'm gonna do in the middle. I'm not gonna focus under here. I'm gonna do in between first. Yeah. So I do like a little T shape. Okay, um, for this, I'm gonna pull it, yeah, I'm gonna pull it down. Okay, ready? Ooh, ooh, yes, girl, it's giving baby's bottom. Yes, it got all the little hairs. Hold on, let me just, there's literally like two hairs, like this one. This one. That looks so clean. Okay, let me show you the, the little wax. You guys see that? The hairs on it. So, for over here, we gotta be careful, right? Because we got the baby hairs. The baby hairs is laid. I like to pull the skin taunt this way and then apply right here. For this, I like to peel up from this side here, but I made this side too thin. I should have created a thicker lip, but let's see if I can still get it done. Yeah. Ooh. But it took off what it needed to take off, you know? And I'll show you how to get off any wax that's in an area that it shouldn't be in, that you don't want to have to rip off. Okay. This is what my brows are looking like. I'm just gonna go in with 
my tweezers and just clean up. There's like some little hairs here. I think I'm gonna clean up a little bit under here. Okay, face is completely hairless where it needs to be. Okay, morning. I'm just gonna go in with a cotton round and water and just wipe the cornstarch off my face. Okay, so let's say you get wax in your eyebrows but you don't wanna rip it off. All you have to do is take some coconut oil or let's say you get it in your edges, if you have your edges out or your baby hairs or your it gets in your hairline or anywhere that you don't want it just take some coconut oil and a cotton a cotton ball or a cotton round or a cotton anything you can even take some paper towel and you just apply it with your finger the co the coconut oil rub it out and then just take a little cotton round it just it comes right out i do like to use coconut oil just to put on my skin afterwards because it does feel a little bit raw i guess you can say it doesn't it's not raw but you know what i mean like, it's a little sensitive. The coconut oil feels really good on your skin. So I'm just using this 100% coconut oil from Shea Moisture. And I'm actually only going to apply this to my lip because I'm about to laminate my brow. And the skin has to be dry around it. So I'm going to very quickly laminate my brows off camera. I have a full tutorial on how I do that. And I actually have like... I have two tutorials up, so I'll have them linked in the corner with their little eyes. So you can tap on it and watch that if you guys are curious as to how I laminate my brows. But I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll come right back and show you guys the completed final product. Okay, so I just finished laminating my brows, and I'm just applying cotton. Not cotton. <laughs> I'm just applying coconut oil to my skin um, where I wax because, you know, that area is a little sensitive ah it's really the skin for me honey period period per periana periots periots period per my skin ooh ooh it's really the brows for me honey it's really the brows for me you see how me just waxing on top and in the middle they just look so cleaned up like even though i left these little hairs here i don't like i like that i like a little bushy brow you know like ugh, obsessed oh my gosh and the upper lip she's completely bare okay we can zoom all the way in I'm so happy that I was able to film this DIY face wax routine for you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button as well down below. Join the fam. I have new videos posted twice a week and we've been hella consistent over here. So make sure you turn on your post notifications too. That way you're notified every time I do upload. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video, for supporting me, for following me, for sending me sweet messages, for dropping tips and suggestions down in the comment section like all of it i love you guys so much don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye